So here at 3D Potter, we have a new design, our 9 series. This is a full wireless design, and there is no more touch screen with our design. Everything is controlled through an online web interface. The new interface is controlled directly over Wi-Fi through any web browser. This allows you to use the printer on any device, such as a laptop, tablet, phone, or other Wi-Fi capable device. On our previous models, you had full control of the model through the touch screen, such as extrusion rate and speed rate. These controls are now on our new interface, and you have speed control and extrusion controls. When you first turn on our Model 9 printers for the first time, it will be broadcasting its own Wi-Fi network. Here we see it as Super 7 Duet. When you connect to this, it has a default password of the numbers 1 through 8. Now that we're directly connected to the printer, we need to type in the default IP address for the printer, which is 192.168.42.14. We're now connected to the printer interface and have full control of the machine. With a new Wi-Fi interface, there are easy to use controls, such as the print speed and extrusion control on slider bars. These controls directly control the printer. As shown here, we are going to move the speed factor all the way up to 300%. This will greatly increase the current print speed. The extrusion control also controls the flow rate coming out of the nozzle. You can connect to the printer with multiple devices at the same time. The controls are synced, so when you change one setting on one device, it changes it all on all of the others. As shown here, I'm going to change the speed factor from 20% up to 88%. Now on all the other devices, it is already automatically synced, as shown right there. You can control the printer with any Wi-Fi capable device. As shown here, we have a laptop and two different kinds of tablets. You can also use a cell phone. One thing to be concerned about is we are directly connecting over Wi-Fi. If you're using your laptop, tablet, or phone's Wi-Fi connection for internet, you will lose your internet connection. However, for laptops, there is an available ethernet port on most laptops, and you can use this to connect to internet. An alternative networking solution is connecting your printer directly to your Wi-Fi network. If you are in a school or campus and need to register your device, contact your IT department for help with this. The most convenient way to control your printer is through your local network, so all computers on your network can control the printer and still have internet.